email me and say, we gather every time you come on live. So that's a blessing. This is the message. No, maybe it's about, it's not about Pastor Jennings. It's all about God here. And this is why you find a few false prophets here in America who always yell about the truth of God. Geno Jennings this, Geno Jennings that, Geno Jennings the other. Well, you can holler all you want, but I would be embarrassed to be telling people that I'm sent to preach the gospel. And I've been in the pulpit 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And I haven't gained no progress, no ground. God haven't done nothing for me in 50 years. Then I'm going to stop indicting God for being in the pulpit. I am not going to tell folks God put me in the pulpit. Because according to the Bible, it is written of the increase of his gifts. His Bible here. No, I'm not talking down on the small things, not at all. But listen to what I'm saying. If you're saying God call you and assign you to a work and there is no progress in your work. Amen. That contradicts the Bible. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 7. That's what? Of the increase of his of government. Of the increase. Amen. God government is God church. That's right. And God governmental officials are the apostles, yes. the prophets, the evangelists, the bishops, the teachers, the deacons. These are the governmental body of his church. That's right. And God promised of the increase of the increase of his government of his church and peace and peace. There shall be no end. That means this. The growth of the church will never end That's right. until Jesus comes. That's right. When Jesus comes, well, it won't need the church won't need to grow then because everyone that want God or everyone that's in the plan of God to be born of God and be part of the bride of God they will be there that's right for the coming of the Lord that's right. there ain't nobody else coming into the church after the coming of the Lord that's right did you hear what I said Amen. somebody said why Pastor Jennings because the church will be taken off the earth. Bless the name of God. And according to his word, blessed mm -hmm. and holy is he. That let me know holiness in the beginning and holiness at the end. Blessed and holy is he to have part in the first resurrection on such the second death have no power. So the holy church of the Lord Jesus Christ will be taken up to meet the Lord in the air. Yeah. And we're going to be with the Lord in the air. Yeah. Now, before the church feet, bless God, touch soil again, you must be in the air with the Lord for a thousand years. That's right. That's what is called the millennium. Simultaneously, while the church is in the air with the Lord for a thousand years, Satan is bound for a little season. During the same time, so being that Satan is bound, all Satan's thoughts, all Satan's deeds, all Satan's power is in bondage during the time that the church is in the air with God. After the thousand year reign, and let us remember, to God, a thousand years is as one day. And one day is as a thousand years. So a thousand years to God is not a thousand years uh, to God. To, to, to man, a thousand years is a thousand years. But not to God. And after the thousand years expire, the Bible says how Satan will be loosed. Loosed for a little season to go to the four corners of the, of the earth gathering together Gog 
Magog, to Balcom, Mesech, which are the descendants of Noah, that gathered them together to battle, which is the final battle that take place on the earth. That's the battle that's labeled Armageddon. And that's the battle that God himself will have to bring to naught. So uh, the church, the increase of it, the increase, I would be uh, very spiritually miserable to be preaching 45 years. This year is 45 years. Wow. I've been declaring the word of God way of 45 years. That's wonderful, brother. That's over half of my life. I'm only 58. Amen. But uh, God have increased my understanding from the time I stepped in the pulpit to now. Yes, he has. And he keep adding to my virtue. <laughs> That's right. Amen, because I have a hunger and hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. blessed be God. Hallelujah. I have a hunger and thirst after righteousness Hallelujah. and uh, he just keep filling me. That's right. Huh? Amen. That's why I would never tell the people I have all what you need. No, 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 no. God have all what you need and he just give me precept upon precept, line upon line. He gives it to me here a little. And very little. Do you understand? But what I do have so far, I God knows I'm going to lay it to you. That's right. Yeah? That's right. <laughs> no, maybe so about that. No, maybe so. I'm not looking to be loved or to be liked by nobody. That's right. I'm not over the air for that. Right. I already have the love of God. I have that. Hallelujah. Yeah? Hallelujah. Amen. I already have that. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. <laughs> I said, I have the love of God and have it well. Talk it, brother. And having it well, God hath put his divine approval upon the truth of God. That's right. That's, that's, that's all I needed. That's right. And that's what I have. I have God's approval. That's right. You that are watching, I don't need your approval. No. I don't need nobody approval about this. No, no. Because the approval of men don't mean nothing. Right. Man will approve you one day, then backbite you the next. That's right. But God's approval. Imagine having something and God's approval is upon it. Amen. Do you know how valuable that is? Yes. That means more to me than having the world approve of something. That's right. When I got God's approval, I got the approval of the maker of heaven and earth. Right. Now the Bible said that's what I want to work on today. Getting God's approval. It is written study to show thine self a proof unto God. A workman needeth not to be ashamed. That's right. But rightly dividing. That's right. The word of truth. Now I want to take my time and soak you out of my this strip it bare, break you up, and then push it back together again with God everlasting word. Amen. All right, viewers, I want you to follow me now. You that are here, get this now. Second Timothy chapter two, and we're at verse fifteen. All right, begin at verse fourteen, I if you will. At verse fourteen. Yes. Of these things, put them in remembrance. Do you hear this? Amen. The apostle Paul, born in Tarsus. In the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of Gamaliel, yeah. whom the scripture says was a Pharisee, a doctor of the law. Being a Pharisee, he was a believer in the spirit world. Right. And Paul being taught according to the perfect manner of the law, came out the tribe that gave Israel their first king, which was the tribe of Benjamin. And 
and Paul being a Benjamite, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. Circumcised the eighth day. Circumcised the eighth day. Of the stock of, of Israel. Of the stock of Israel. Of the tribe of, of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. And Hebrew of a the Hebrews. A Hebrew of the Hebrews. As touching the law. As touching the law. A Pharisee. A believer in the spirit world. Concerning zeal. Concerning a zeal. Persecuting the church. Persecuting the church. Touching the righteousness touching the which is in the right law. things that was in the law. Blameless. Blameless. Amen. So he was taught according to the perfect manner of the law by a man named Gamaliel, who was a doctor of the law. But he was not taught the revelation by man. I am verily a man which am a Jew. Listen at this. In Acts chapter 22 and at verse 3. I just want to give you some of the apostles' background here. That's right. And I don't have to go to the seminary school theology or history to do it. That's right. I go right to the Bible. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 22 and at verse 3. Yes. I am verily a man which am a Jew. I am a man that's a Jew. Born in Tarsus. Born in Tarsus. A city in Cilicia. City in Cilicia. Yet brought up in this city at the field brought of up in in this city at the feet of Gamaliel and taught and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the Father. So that lets you know even before Jesus appeared to Paul That's right. he was taught, taught that it was one God. That's right. Because all the Jews knew about Jehovah. That's right. Elohim. Yahweh, El Shaddai, That's right. the one true God of the prophets and of the Hebrews that brought him out of the land of Egypt. That's right. So he had that knowledge, That's right. but he just didn't have the knowledge of who he was. That's right. He knew it was one, but God introduced himself to Saul. Yes. Saul was a murderer, mm -hmm. persecutor. Injurious, blasphemer. Yeah. On the road to Damascus, the light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun, knocked them down to the earth, and the Lord God Himself spoke from heaven. Amen. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? He asked, Who art thou, Lord? Who are you? And the Lord said, You see, Paul knew that the law was Jehovah That's right. of the Old Testament. That's right. Eh? That's right. I said, Paul knew that the Lord was Jehovah and taught according of the Old Testament. For the Bible say he was taught according, according to the perfect manner of the law of the to fathers. To the perfect manner of the law of the fathers. That's right. And, and he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And, and the, the Lord, Lord said, said, I am Jesus. So Jesus, who is the Lord, Jesus, who is God. That's right. Jesus, who is Jehovah. That's right. Stop, Brother Paul. And uh, he was blinded by this great light. Went to the street that was called Street. There was a certain disciple down there by the name of Ananias. That's right. Lord dealt with Ananias, Ananias laid hands on brother Paul that he may receive the sight, baptized him, and brother Paul also received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. God made Paul an apostle, an ambassador of Christ. So even though he was taught the law by Gamaliel, his revelation came from God in the first chapter of the book of Galatia. Verse 11. Says what? But I certify you, brethren. I want to certify you, brothers, that the gospel, that, the which was gospel me that I preach is not after man. Do you hear this? Amen. It's not man's gospel. That's right. But what? For I neither received it of man. I didn't get it from man. Paul, tell the world how you got it. Neither was I taught it. But what? But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. It was revealed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. It was revealed to Paul. That's right. Made known to him. That's right. So Paul didn't walk with Jesus in the flesh. No. But everything, everything that he preached concerning the flesh, 
God revealed to him. But when it pleased God. When it pleased, give chapter and verse from this. Galatians chapter 1 and at verse 15. When it pleased God to separate me from my mother's, from my mother's womb, womb and called, and called me, by, me his by his mercy. To reveal his son in me. He did what? To reveal his son in me. For what reason? That I might preach him among the heathen. And then what? Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. That's a good background on Brother Paul, isn't it? That's right. So Paul was an apostle called and sent by God. And uh, Brother Timothy mm -hmm. was one of Paul's, if I use the word, ministers. That's right. Timothy. That's right. Now, according to history, not the Bible, not the Bible, <laughs> not the Bible, That's right. not the Bible. That's right. According to history, not the Bible. According to seminary school and theology, not the Bible. Timothy supposedly had been the first bishop in the church. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's right. Let me show you what Timothy was. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and at verse 5. Said what? But watch thou in all things. Look at Paul instructing his son in the gospel. That's right. Watching everything. Endure affliction. Endure suffering. Do the work of an evangelist. No. Do the work of a bishop. Do the work of an evangelist. The Bible give you his office. Amen. And give you the charge that Paul gave him. I charge thee before God and the Lord do, Jesus Christ. Do you Christ. hear this? In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and at verse 1. You see the word of God got all the answers we need. That's why we don't need some in every school here. That's right. We don't need it, don't want it, don't have confidence in it. That's right. Listen. I, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. That's what? I charge thee before God. I charge thee before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead. At his appearing and his kingdom. What did he charge Timothy to do? Preach the go word. Go to seminary school. Preach the word. No, go to go to seminary school. Preach the word. Preach what? Preach the word. How often? Be instant in season. Hmm. Amen. Be instant in season. Out. You know he didn't he didn't let up on the ministers, did he? No, no, he didn't. He didn't. Paul didn't let up on the ministers. No. He told him what? Be instant in season. Be consistent. That's right. You don't read where Timothy was whining. I don't want to go. It's <laughs> no, too. Oh no. It was. It's too hard. No. Hear no. not that. No, no. Preach the word. Preach it. Be instant in season. And be consistent. Season. It doesn't matter what time of year. That's right. Snow falling. Be instant. Be instant Sun in shining. Season. Yeah. Be instant. Yeah. If it's raining, be instant. Yeah. Wife sick. If you got one, you still be instant. That's right. That's right. Eh? Right. You hear what the words say? Preach the word. Be instant in season. Out of season. Be consistent. That's right. And when you go out there, what should you do? Reprove. I want you to lay everything out that's not like God. Rebuke. Rebuke everything that's not like God. Exhort. I'm not sending you out there to make friends. That, that's right. I'm not sending you out there to be nice. That's right. I'm not saying, hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not sending you out there to get a pat on the back. Reprove. I'm charging you to do what God charged me to do. That's right. Eh? Reprove. When you go out there, I want you to rebuke. Prove the world of sin. Rebuke. Rebuke the powers of hell. Exhort. Exhort the church. With all long suffering and, and suffering. suffer in the process and don't forget to stay in the doctrine. For the time will come. And I can say the time is here. And they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want they won't they won't want to hear you, Timothy. They, That's right. they will not want to hear you. But after their own lust. But they're gonna go after their own lust. They heap to themselves and they're gonna teachers. gather to themselves and even get teachers. Having itching ears. That want to hear what they want to hear. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and what and shall be turned unto faith you see the apostle giving him good instruction that's right before he sent him out that's right he yeah, instructs him yeah. let him know what to do and what to expect when you get out there that's right yeah. but watch thou when you all don't things. see where timothy just jumped up and took off running no no he had an apostle that's right teach him instruct him Lay groundwork to him. That's right. That way when you go out there, he's prepared. That's right. Teach him how to expect the unexpected. Watch thou. He told him, watch thou. In all things. What? Watch thou in all things. It's wonderful, brother. That's watch right. thou in all things mean. 
Be careful. Amen. Be mindful. That's right. Don't overlook nothing. That's right. Take your time. That's right. Watch thou. Watch thou. In he, all even watch brothers that say they brothers. Watch them. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Watch them. In all things. Watching everything. Them that compliment you. That's right. Watch them. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Them that may get happy watch. while you're preaching. That's watch right. them. That's right. If you get a wife, that's all right. Watch her. That's right. Why? Wow, she that's in the right. Bible says. Watch though in all things. And how much? In all things. And how much? In all things. That got your wife. That's right. Hallelujah. She fall under the all thing. In all things. Yeah. Watch though in all things. Amen. Watch yourself. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Watch yourself that you put nothing in front of the instructions I gave you. Watch thou in all Don't things. Don't say, well, what you mean watch your wife? You want to make sure that the love you got for her and the love she got for you don't be so overwhelming until you bargain. That's right. And then make a step aside from the instructions that I'm giving you. Watch thou. How much? Watch thou in all things. If you become prosperous Hallelujah. in material things, watch it. What? That, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Watch it. Watch thou in all things. That materialism don't take you over. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Even after you sit under the teaching, you better watch the knowledge that you have. That's right. That you don't get up lifted in it. Watch thou in all things. That's what you mean, watch thou in all things. Monitor everything. That's right. Hallelujah. Monitor. Hallelujah. Everything. That's right. Why is it necessary? Because your soul is at stake. That's right. Hallelujah. Do you see what I'm talking here? But watch thou in all things. Hallelujah. That's a beat. God. Hallelujah. Watch. Watch thou in all things. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter how successful you are out there, Timothy. That's right. I watch. want you to watch. Watch. That's watch right. them that get close to you. That's right. Watch them. Wonderful, brother. Watch them that say, I love you. You're my brother. Watch uh -huh. thou. Watch, watch thou. thou. That's in all things. In everything. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Watch thou in all watch things. Watch thou. You see, the apostles gave the brothers excellent heaven sent instruction. That's right. So they don't be lost. That's right. That's right. Instructions. Is protection. Amen. But the instructions only give protection when you remember thou. That remember the thou. thing That's right. that thou has learned. That's right. Eh? That's right. And otherwise than that, you can get instructions all day. But if you don't remember the instructions that's given to you and be mindful, do you know your salvation hang? On what you remember, That's right. what was taught to you. First Corinthians chapter fifteen and at verse one. Someone say, "When well, I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. That's wonderful. That's Happy right. for you. Praise the Lord. Amen." But if you don't remember that's a, that's right. what was preached unto you, mm -hmm. your belief in the baptism mm -hmm. and your belief in the actual Holy Ghost that's right. will be counted. In vain. In First Corinthians chapter fifteen, so one said, one. "What?" That's right. But past, I thought when I received the baptism in water in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and continuing the apostles' doctrine, I'm saved. How can you continue in something unless you remember the teaching that pertained to it? That's right. You can't continue in something you don't remember. Amen. Hear that? First Corinthians 15, we'll start at verse 1. Oh, praise the name of God here. Yeah. Moreover, brother. What? Moreover, brother. That means I'm telling you, over and over That's right. and over That's right. and over mm -hmm. and over. How often? Just moreover. Moreover. Being consistent and reminding you about the same thing. Moreover, brother. Calling your attention to the same thing. That's right. Why? Because your soul is at stake and you want to be mindful. That's right. Uh -huh. Moreover, brother. Moreover, brother. I declare unto you the gospel which I, I preached unto you. I declare unto you the gospel which is preached unto you. Which also ye have received. Which also ye got. And wherein ye stand. And ye stand in what ye got. By which also ye are saved. Uh-oh. Amen. Here's the catch that most folk forgot and don't even know about. By which also ye are you saved. You are saved by the gospel. If. What? If. If. 
You are saved by the gospel. How? If. If what? Ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. And if you don't remember what I preached, what's your end? Unless ye have believed in vain. Amen. 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 That's right. That's why you got to beware of false prophets who come and undo. That's right. The teaching that was done. That's right. Are you getting it? By which also ye are saved. By which also ye saved. If. If. Ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. Ye keep in memory. Amen. If the mother's a little warm, kind of help her up if she's too warm and just take her in the lobby there where it's more of a breeze. Some of you young sisters give the mother a hand. Real quick now. Some of you young sisters give the mother a hand. Take her there in the lobby and, you know, get some air. Give her a hand, one on each side, and give her a hand, get some air, and take some water there. And if she start getting too chilly, just bring her back. Let her sit right in the seat over there where you can take her out in the door. Uh, brother, you, the brother security that's sitting in the chair, you set your chair up there so she don't stand. And uh, keep the doors open, let her get some air. And when she's satisfied, roll her back in. Amen. God bless mother to uh, see July. She'll be 90 years old. That's a blessing. Amen. 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 All right, let's go to work. First Corinthians 15, I'm at verse 2. Follow me now. By, by which also ye are saved. Ye are saved. If ye keep in memory. Look at the terms. If. If. Mm. The Bible said men have sought out many inventions. Therefore, you can hear this message all day, every day. Right. It's at your exposal. To keep you up to date to what you've been taught, look at the device That's right. that you have. You can pause, rewind, get your Bible. That's right. If you don't remember what is preached unto you, Amen. your years of tarrying for the Holy Ghost did not obtain it. Yeah. And being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ won't save you. That's right. It won't save you if you don't remember what is taught. Your very belief in the Bible itself. God will count it in vain. vain. In vain. Won't profit you. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? By which also ye are saved. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians 15 and we're at verse 2. By which also ye are saved. Ye are saved. If. What if? That's like a glitch there. <laughs> That's right. He's laying terms to salvation. That's right. He's laying terms to your salvation. That's the right. time you spend watching a bunch of foolishness, the time you spend trying to read some book of love stories and all that recycled trash <laughs> that come out of hell. That's right. The word of God speak plain here. By which also ye are saved. Ye are saved. If. If you keep in memory what I if preach, if you remember you. what is preached, unless and if you don't remember what is preached, you have believed it in vain. That means you're coming to church, yeah, you're vain. shouting, your baptism, yeah. your tongue talking. That's right. None of it. That's right. Will be profitable to you That's right. when Jesus comes. That's right. It is deep. Amen. That's why when we tell you more, take time. Get off your computer looking at foolishness and pull the word of God up. That's right. Get your Bible. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. Amen. You know, a lot of y'all write scriptures and don't never use that pad when you go home to look at the word of God of the scriptures that you wrote. That's right. Got scriptures written everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, all over the place. All over the place. Never take the time. If you don't get this in you, if you don't get this in you, Amen. you are praying mm -hmm. for false prophets. That's true. That's true. False prophet that come right among you. Yeah. Or you will look at a false prophet yeah. on internet That's right. or on television or listen to him on the radio yeah. with that damnable doctrine and he has dressed it up with Bible. That's right. And because you're not paying attention to teaching, he started itching your ears. That's right. Huh? That's right. What you mean itching ears? It starts sounding good to you. Yeah. Brother used to be in the truth of God from Mississippi. Got tied up with a false prophet in Mississippi. I talked to the brother about two weeks ago. 
And he said, well, Pastor Jennings, the, the false prophet convinced them. There are no more apostles now. And the brother been under me. He convinced them. There's no apostles now. There's no tithing. No more tithing. No apostles. The false prophet don't believe in tithings. He don't believe in apostles. He don't believe in feet washing. He don't believe that there's no more prophets in the church. And now the brother said, well, he showed me in the Bible. Wow. Now you see what I'm talking? That's right. It doesn't matter because you sit in the truth. That's you right. sitting on benches. That's right. That's right. It's what you're sitting in getting in you. That's it. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. By which also you this are This is saved. a warning. Amen. Give chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and we're at verse 2. By the which also ye are saved. Listen. Amen. You are go back with Jesus. If. If. Ye keep in memory. If. If. You are make the first resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. If. If ye keep in memory. You remember. What I preached unto what you. What the apostles preached. Unless. Unless. Ye have believed. Your whole life of coming to church. In vain. It ain't worth nothing. That's right. Nothing, worth nothing. Hallelujah, go and take God. In vain. Won't be worth nothing. That's right. That's right. Jumping and shouting, getting happy over the word, don't mean nothing. Amen. If, if you keep in memory. You don't keep in memory. But I preached unto you. What the apostles had. Unless you have believed in vain. I even talked to the brother. I said, ask the preacher. I showed him 1 Corinthians 12, 28. God has set some in the church. First apostle. I said, now what you do, you go ask the preacher to show you in the Bible where God took him out. Right. I said, that's all. That's right. That's right. I read to him, he set some in the church. First apostles. Mm -hmm. Second daily prophets. I said, just ask the preacher when did God take him out. Yeah. That's all you got to do. I said, I'm going to give you the Bible where you put him in. All right, the preacher you got to do is give you a Bible that reverses it. That's right. Where God took him out. Yeah. Wonderful. I haven't heard from the brother since. What did he do? Backslid. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. This is why we preach so hard, so firm. Yeah. I don't care nothing about your shouting. No. You can fall out till you blend it with the carpet and your camouflage. And when people step on you, they think you are the carpet. That's right. How many years you had the Holy Ghost have no relevance. That's right. The word of God speaks plain. By which also ye are saved. They, listen, they backslid from Jesus. Yes, they did. When he was here in the flesh. That's right. And before he came in the flesh, they backslid from God, the eternal spirit. That's right. And Satan done it. That's right. Satan duped an entire third. Amen. Amen. Even when the apostles was walking the earth. They backslid from the message they were preaching. That's right. Hal Hymenius, yeah. Alexander, Alexander. Blaspheme, Blaspheme. Right. the coppersmith. That's right. Many got taken over. Yeah. Why they wasn't rooted. That's right. Wasn't grounded. That's right. Busy jumping. Don't <laughs> brag because you're in the truth of God. It's the truth of God in you. Amen. That's it. That's why the devil know that this message of holiness is the strongest message in the world. Yeah. Very strong. That's why the false prophets, they don't bother these mega preachers. No. They attack the truth of God. That's right. Because they see the strength in it. Amen. They say, hallelujah, glory to God. They see the firmness in it. That's right. That's right. You can't turn on no church program and see all these men. No. no. You see a bunch of fairies. That's right. Dairy queens. That's right. And mostly all the women. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? By which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. Do you hear this? Unless ye have believed in vain. Unless you believe in vain. In vain. If thou put the brethren in remembrance. Do you hear this? Now in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and we're at verse 6. If you put the brethren. In remembrance of these things. In remembrance. Of these of things. Of these things. Thou shalt be a good minister. Wait a minute. Amen. 
You see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not boasting, but I'm a good minister. You're a good minister. Because I'm keeping you in remembrance That's right. of what the Word of God said. That's right. The Bible told me what I am if I keep you in remembrance. Do you hear this? If that, in 1 Timothy 4 and verse 6. What is it? If thou put the brethren in remembrance of if these things. If you put the brother in remembrance of these things. Thou shalt be a good minister. You will be a good minister. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Never stop. Nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. That's what I want you to be nourished up. Nourished up. I want you to be all fat from the preaching. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's why we got milk to give you and meat to give you and bread to give you. That's right. Nourished up. When you come to church, Hallelujah. come to eat. That's right. Don't come to socialize. No. Don't come to look for a wife. Don't come to look for a husband. That's right. Don't come because you miss your friend. That's right. I don't care who you miss. Amen. You come to church to hear yeah. from God and eat God's hallelujah. That's right. Eat God's word. That's right. Hallelujah. Don't forget hallelujah. what church is for. That's right. Church is for nothing else. Glory to God in the days of Noah. Amen. When God instructed him to build an ark for the saving of the house, the ark represents the church. That's right. Eh? Thank God when the ark, the ark couldn't move until the water came. That's right. I said the ark couldn't move right. until the water came. That's right. Amen. The church can't move until water comes. Amen. One water, this speaking of the spirit. spirit. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. Your church needs the spirit of God. Amen. Thank God when the water began to build up, the ark began to rise. That's right. And sell afloat. Amen. When the spirit of God built up in you, you'll find yourself rising. Oh yeah. Growing. Hallelujah. Growing. Hallelujah. In knowledge and wisdom and divine understanding. That's right. That's right. But you have to get this in you. Amen. The Holy Book says. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these if things. If you put the brothers in remembrance of this. Thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. You'll be a good minister. Of Jesus Christ. That means that Jesus will be pleased with you. That's right. Nourish up. In the words of faith. In the good words. Doctrine. That give us belief. And of good doctrine. What, what kind of doctrine? Good doctrine. Good. The truth of God doctrine is good. Good doctrine. Not corrupt. That's right. Not mixed with the ideology and the feelings of men. That's right. Wonderful. Not mixed with my opinion. No. The moment the opinion of men get in there, that doctrine ceases to be good, it becomes corrupt. That's right. Hallelujah. Now I have to give you good doctrine. Good doctrine. Pure scripture. That's right. Nothing watered down. That's right. If you can't take it, that's you. You might as well just stick around until you can adjust to the bitterness thereof. That's right. When it hits your mouth, it's sweet. When it gets to your belly, it'll be bitter. Oh, yeah. We're not going to dilute it. No. We're not going to water it down. Oh, no. no, sir. Oh, no. Amen. Wonderful. Brother. This is a straight drink here. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Ah! That's right. Straight drink. That's right. Amen. Amen. We ain't putting no seltzer water in it either. Oh no. We ain't watering this stuff. Hallelujah. This stuff down. No way. No, sir. Amen. It's a straight drink. That's you right. know, I seen men when I was a child drink straight liquor. Boy, they cut they face up. Amen. Hey, man, there was a man that me and William used to know. He lived next to William's name, Mr. Bowman. Yep. Bowman used to drink straight. Straight vodka. That's right. No water. That's right. Nothing. That's right. He filled that glass up and drank it, and man, the face he would make. Amen. He would make a face, then he'd yell. Ah! That's right. That's right. Me and Wiz would say, Mr. Bowman, if, if, if it's that bitter, why you drink it? After he cleared me, he said, get his breath. He said, it's good. <laughs> Man. It's good. Yes, it would. That's why this hard preaching. Hard preaching. Many of you sitting here, many of you watching, frown. Yeah. Frown. Oh, yeah. Why? Your digestive system having a jest to the strongness of the drink. 
That goes for you watching. That's right. That's why you folks love your false prophet in your false church. He gives you that little sugar water. Amen. You drink that all day. Oh yeah. He tell you it's three God. You say yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three God, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. That's right. Three gods. That's right. Sugar water. Amen. We come slap that sugar water out your hand yeah. and tell you, you're going to drink one God or go to hell. That's right. <laughs> you're going to drink one God or go to hell. Amen. And this is why the religion of men has always been more appealing than the ways of God. That's right. You want a divorce? There's a religion that man got that has used the Bible yeah. to make you feel justified. That's right. You want to be a homosexual? There's a religion out here where you can be all homosexual and they try to use the Bible and they always will try to go to scriptures. God is love. That's right. Jesus is love. Jesus is love. Jesus is love. Jesus love and homosexuality ain't got nothing in common. No. Not at all. No, no. All right, let's go back to study to show yourself. Come on now. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 2 when we're at verse 14. Follow me. Of these things, put them in remembrance. Of these things, make them in remember. Put them in remembrance. Charging them before the Lord. Charge them before God. That they strive not about words to no profit. Do you hear this? Amen. Don't strive to words to no profit. But to the subverting of the hearers. To the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman. Yeah. Amen. You want God's approval. Study. That's right. Don't just write scriptures down and go home. Study. Study. Get your Bible. Turn that message on. That's right. Your soul depends on it. That's right. Study. The many thousands of letters I get from around the world, from men and women, 70s, 80s, Amen. telling me how they learn more from this program than all the years they've been on the planet. Mm. One man wrote me, he said, I'm not used to a preacher saying everything in the Bible. <laughs> Amen. And most people, they're not used to it. That's right. Bible for everything. 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 That's right. Bible for you going to hell and Bible for keeping you out of hell. That's right. Everything. Everything. Study to show thyself. Study to show thyself. Approve unto God. Unto God, what shall we do? A workman. You gotta work at it. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Not just study and sit back. No, you got to do some work. Workman. What is it? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Won't be ashamed rightly, rightly interpreting the word of truth. You see, once you get this in you and get the knowledge of God in you, you'll be able to rightly, rightly divide interpret the word of truth. Rightly explain. That's right. Rightly divide the word, the of, word of truth. Of truth. That means you'll cut the scriptures evenly. Evenly. Hmm? When you write your divine thing, you're cutting it. Amen. What cuts the scripture? Your divine revelation yeah. will cut the scripture. That's right. You'll cut the prophets yeah. and you'll cut the apostles mm -hmm. and take what the prophets said and take what the apostles said and when it's rightly divided, neither one is contradicting the other. That's right. Go right to God. You, div you rightly, rightly divide. Why? Listen. Whenever something, when food is cut, or divided, the purpose for it to be divided, so every so it can be distributed evenly, That's right. and everybody can eat. That's right. So I have to come along and rightly, rightly. cut, yeah. and then make distribution. Feed the church of God. Feed it. That's right. Feed it. That's right. That's right. Over the which the Holy Ghost that made you overseers, feed the church of God. That's right. Feed Take heed it. therefore. Listen. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 28. Do what? Take heed therefore unto yourselves. Take heed. Unto yourselves. Unto yourselves. And to all the flock. And to the church. Over the which the, over Holy, the, Ghost which the Holy Ghost has made you made, gave you the oversight for what reason? To feed the church of God. Imagine being an overseer. You ain't got sense enough to know what the people need to eat. Amen. When I came up, and my mother cooked food. It was no such thing. It was eight of us. It was eight of us, and uh, they always had 
somebody else living with us. Always reaching out, taking care of somebody. Wonderful. So it was nine Wonderful. and plus. <laughs> and whoever was being raised among us, they didn't have no special privileges. They had chores, they had to eat what we eat. Ain't nobody come in my mother's kitchen and say, I don't eat that. That's right. When she ball up them Raleigh, North Carolina lips and give you them North Carolina eyes, you ate or went hungry. Amen. There wasn't a bunch of us in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. There was one kitchen boss. Amen. And when she said, all right, time to eat, everybody had to come eat. That's right. When mama say so. Yeah. And if you didn't come when mama said, if mama said, you don't, you eat now, don't you come back in this kitchen. That's right. Then you wasn't allowed to come back in the kitchen. You just laid in bed fast. <laughs> you fast when you didn't intend on fasting. Amen. But you fast anyway. Amen. So listen at the word of God. Everybody all right? Get this now. Acts 20 and verse 28. What is it? Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock. Uh -huh. Over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers. The purpose of having the oversight is to do what? To feed the church of God. When the brothers, when we set up churches around the world yeah. and put brothers in the pulpit, what we put them there for? To feed the church of God. No, to make girlfriends. To feed the church of God. No, to steal church money. To feed the church of God. No, to be out partying late Saturday. To feed the church of God. Amen. Amen. They're in the pulpit for what reason? To feed the church of God. And if they can't feed the church of God, then get out the marketplace. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. You got to get, and you bear in mind, you got to feed your wife and children the same grub. That's right. Your wife and children got to eat from the same plate. Amen. That everybody else eat out of. That's right. Amen. You give the church steak and it's tough. Your wife and children got to chew on the same thing. That's right. Amen. That's right. You give the church grits. Your wife and children got to eat the same thing. Yeah. You give the church oatmeal. Wife and children got to get the same thing. That's right. I'll make them that as an example. I don't want you to take that literally because, you know, there's some folks, you know, they, they just don't catch up with what I'm talking here. That's true, Pastor. That's In other cool. words, everybody get the same thing. That's right. Amen. Amen. Do you hear this? Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. And Take heed. The flock. That's why you have a mess out there, viewers, because these men running around made themselves preachers, and they're just doing anything. That's right. Doing, I mean, anything, leading folk to hell, sincere people. Amen. Many people, sincere, want to be right, being led to hell. That's right. We are determined to do this thing right. That's right. I refuse to move to the left or to the right for anybody yeah. about anything. Amen. It ain't no such thing. Well, you know, if I get close to Pastor Jennings, I change his mind. No, It'll happen. be icicles in hell before that happens. Yes, it will. Because I don't get that close to nobody. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Changing me. It's like changing the sun into the moon and the moon to the sun. That's how easy it is. Amen. 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 If my wife can't change me, and I hear she and I have been together 44 years. If she can't change me, point, point to the Bible, who in the world do you? I wouldn't care if you was Gabriel's niece. Amen. And when he spread his wings, you came from under it. That's right. Fully dressed and came down to the earth with a basket of eggs. Amen. I wouldn't care if you was Gabriel's cousin if he got one, That's right. in which he don't, That's right. because spirit ain't related to nobody. No. But if you said, Pastor Jennings, I'm Gabriel's cousin. I come from heaven to be with you, but you got to change this. You're going to find yourself scrambling, asking Gabriel to come get you. That's right. You're going to be scrambling. I said, what's that noise? Well, that fella getting beat with the Bible. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Scrambling, scriptural scuff marks scuff gonna be marks. on them. Amen. When it comes to the Bible, I don't believe in being close to nobody. No, 
Oh, no. More than that word. That's right. Why? That's My right. soul is at stake. Yeah. And your soul is at stake if you don't keep in memory what is preached to you. You better get this while you can. Listen. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock. That what? Over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers. For what reason? To feed the church of God. He made you overseers for what? To feed the church of God. And? Which he hath purchased with his own blood. Wait a minute. Who's responsible for the existence of the church? Which he has purchased with his own blood. You see, he purchased it with blood. That's right. When he shed blood and died, he purchased, he purchased the people. That's right. That's what it's meant. You bought with a price. That's right. He bought the church and the price that he paid was death. Uh -huh. For I know this. I know this. And after my departing. Look at the apostle. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 20 and verse 29. He's warning the for, church. For I know this. I know this after I leave. Shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Do you hear this? Amen. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 20. We're at verse 29. The apostle said. For I know this. I know this after I leave. Shall grievous wolves enter in a Not mountain. just wolves. Grievous wolves. Grievous. Grievous. They're no good. That's right. They're dangerous. Grievous wolves. They are tear you apart. Not sparing the flock. They are strip you of your opportunity That's from right. getting right with God. That's right. For I know this. I know this. You know, there's some things that people just won't do. True. When a man of God is among them. That's right. Some things. That's right. And there's some folk they wouldn't care if Gabriel was down here. They'd try to shoot him. Amen. When Moses was living, there's some things when Moses was in their presence, Israel wouldn't do. Yeah. But my God, when Moses went up on a mountain and he didn't return quick enough as they thought, the Bible says Israel rose up to play. Yeah. Amen. Amen. For I know this. I know this. And after my departing shall grieve this world. We, we that are parents, have you ever left and then came back home and wonder what happened? Children just went plumb wild. Like they're making their own video. Children gone wild. Wild, foolish, making a mess. Trying to sneak friends to the house. That's right. Trying to sneak company in and all of that stuff. That's what many, many children have done. And then you got to take the rod of correction and turn over the tables like Jesus did and drive everybody out. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Drive them out. Beat them in the house. Beat them on the way out the house. Beat them on the porch. Beat them on the sidewalk. Beat them while they're running up the street. Amen. 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 Give them all around American beating. That's right. All right. For I know this. I know this after. After my departure. I leave. Shall grievous shall wolves, grievous wolves enter in among you. Now, the apostle is warning us of men coming from the outside among the church to destroy what you've been taught. That's right. Look out for that. And what else? Also of your own self. Look out from those that sitting right in the church. Also of your own self. Of your own self. Shall men arise. Shall men arise doing what? Speaking perverse things. And what are they speaking perverse things for? To draw away disciples after them. So don't get too close to nobody. That's right. Of your own. I done lived through that. That you have. I done had hypocrite brothers. That's right. Went behind my back spreading false teaching. That's right. False lies. Yeah. They had to go to those locations and bomb them with the Bible. Amen. That's why I tell all members, don't you get too close to no brother we set in the pulpit. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. When that brother start getting up, preaching against the word of God yeah. and detour from the teaching, Go to him. That's right. That's right. Don't, don't, I don't care if he sweat. He can get in the spirit. Wait till his spirit wear off. Amen. When you're talking to him, he starts shaking. You just, 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 when he start cha cha just wait. Amen. That's why there are hundreds of ministers reaching out to me all the time. Yeah. 
Got a new minister that I interviewed. Brought his congregation in. You haven't met him yet. Well, you met him, but you didn't know who he was. His father told the whole church about us. And his father wanted to bring the church in the same year he died. So the brother came up from all places. Raleigh, North Carolina. Amen. My family hometown. So we met with them, had conversation with them, detail, went into doctrine. He said the members got questions. I said, meet with the members before you conclude to come over here. Go meet with the members that's with you. Get the feedback because I know they're going to have questions for me. And he did that. I said, you got your questions? He said, I got them written down right here. And we went to work. And I point on the Bible for this, point on the Bible for that, point on the Bible for the other, point on the Bible for the other. I have to do this. That's right. He said, well, I consider all the church assets belong to First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I said, well, just, he said, all the money that we save, you can have. I said, just a minute. I said, I don't want your money. He said, we're in Washington, North Carolina, but all the members in Raleigh. What do you think is wise? I said, sell the church you have in Washington and we'll go look for one in Raleigh. That's what you do. That way they ain't got to drive almost two hours from where they are to there, go right to the city. Right. Get them out the rural area in the country and put them in the city. Wonderful. And then we'll come off down there and put everything in order right. and catch some new fish. Yeah. Come on, say, how do you know? I have a, a rod that always stay in water. That's right. It is the will of God, Frank, it's the will of God yeah. that I catch fish all the time. All the time. Caught you, didn't we? Yeah. And caught thousands that are watching. Yeah. It's a good net. Yeah. They're being caught from all over. Amen. I'm thankful, but I also got to watch. Got to watch. Bible says, also of your own self shall men arise. I done lived through that already. I done had men rise up. Oh, yes. Said Melchizedek was in God. Yeah. Rose up with that damnable teaching. That's right. Amen. That's right. Said black people are the only chosen ones of God. I had to shoot that to pieces. That's right. One brother rose up and said, he tell his family that I have if you're black and baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, you are better than the white folk that are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. That's a black lie. That's a lie. I take the Bible and knock the black out of you. That's right. And knock the white out of you. That's right. My interest is to put Jesus on you. That's it. Huh? That's right. We preach Jesus to him crucified. Oh, yes. Glory to God. For I know this. I know this after I went to party. Our grievous wolves. Grievous. Grievous wolves. Amen. Amen. I don't care how much you love one of the ministers. You better listen. That's right. And when he detoured from the Bible, That's question right. him. That's right. And I don't care who he is. Question him. Amen. Do you hear this? For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you. And what else? Not sparing the flock. They won't even spare you. Also of your own selves. Which shows they're incompetent. Yeah. Of your own selves. Shall men arise. Speaking perverse they, things. Those the kind of men are men stealers. That's right. They, they're not called and sent of God. They don't have what it takes to go out there to declare God's word and souls come. Amen. So they just try to form cliques That's it. right in the church That's and right. befriend people. That's right. That's right. May let you borrow X amount of money. Yeah. And you feel loyal. Yeah. You try to buy you like a pimp do a two dollar hoe. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And those kind you can tell they can be out there 10, 15, 20, 25 years. Yeah. And they got the same thing that they have now that they have when they went out on their own. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Also of your it own. It takes God to make a preacher. Amen. 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 
This is something you can just jump up and do because you got the feeling like you James Brown. No, you can't. God got to make you. If God don't do it, it can't be done. No. When God do it, God put it in him. That's right. The desire who will take God to do it right. That's right. Do you hear this? Also of your own selves shall men arise. Remember, it get them that come from the outside mm -hmm. and it get them that's right among you of your own selves. Shall men arise. Of, a, of your own selves your shall own selves. men arise speaking perverse, perverse things. Thing. To draw away disciples. To, to get members. After them. After them, yes. therefore. Watch. No. Be blinded by friendship. Therefore, watch. No. Just speak in tongue all around them. Therefore, watch. That's right. I don't care if you're reading for the minister. That's right. You ain't got no business getting so close to a minister until when he deviates from the word of God or even start behind closed doors speaking against leadership, you yeah. in this amen corner. That's right. You just as held bound as the minister. Amen. Therefore, what? What? Therefore, what? I don't have no respect to person. No, you don't. No, you don't. My blood brother's under me. I don't care. That's right. When it come to God, I don't care who you are. Amen. Amen. I remember when I sent my blood brother to a location and the Rocky Mount Church closed the doors to go where he was. And then when I sent one of the ministers down there to a location, they didn't close the doors. I asked Rocky Mount, who was my brother? Mm. If you're going to close the doors for one, then close it for the other. And if you can't do it for both, you're a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. So in the, in the past, some try to present my brother like he was my assistant pastor. He ain't my assistant pastor, nothing. No. no. He's just one of the helpers like all the other ministers. That's right. And I don't think of him above another minister because he's my blood. See, with me, spirit outweighs blood. That's right. I don't care nothing about blood. Amen. Blood don't follow the word of God. Blood going to go to hell. That's right. Only God can make it like that. Yeah. Because it is the nature of a false prophet to look at blood. Yeah. That's why false prophets always train their sons. That's right. To keep the family name on the church sign and the family legacy on. Yeah. I'm interested in keeping the name of the Lord on the church sign and the word of God on. That's right. Amen. Therefore, watch. Do what? Therefore, watch. Problem of a lot of folks, the reason why they can't watch, they're jumping and jerking and shouting too much. Yeah. That's right. Can't watch. That's right. That's right. Therefore. Therefore, watch. And, and while we're watching, what should we do? And remember. Right back at remembering again. That's right. Therefore, watch and remember. That by the space of three years. I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. He warned them how long? By the space of three years. And how was he affected by it? I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Night and day. Night and day. With tears. Things troubled him so bad the apostle was telling him and crying. That's right. Why? He saw the church, many being moved, lost, damned. That's right. Because they didn't keep in memory what was preached. That's right. That's right. False prophet come along, no more apostles now. And here's the Bible speak plain. God has set some, he hath. And the, the spirit of deception say, hath mean past. Hath don't mean past. No. Hath mean he established it in the church. That's right. That's it. God hath. They say that means past. That don't mean past. No. God hath means God established these things in the church. He hath done it. They established in there. That's right. How hell deserving. My Lord, my Lord. You don't believe in tithing? Why you take them? Well, that's something. You don't believe in tithing? Why they take them? Amen. 
I went to Mississippi and fed. Preacher told me later on, we, we went down there and preached, and we left all the money there. Mm -hmm. All the tithing and the offering. And he, and he cried, thanking me. He said, I can take this. And I, I, he said, I'm doing work on the church. I said, you take it and do whatever work you're going to do. I said, you can put your new carpet down. Then later on, told me he don't believe in tithing. Then take your carpet up. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Take your carpet back up. Because that's hypocrisy. Amen. You believe in tithing enough to get carpet down. And then later on, I don't believe it. Roll that carpet up, clean the glue off. That's right. Give all the tithing back. Because if you don't believe in it, you should reject it. That's right. That's Am I right, I said? Amen. Therefore, watch. Therefore, what? And re watch and remember. Amen. If you don't get this in you, Somebody come in here with a damnable doctrine. Yes, they will. That's why sometimes when guest preachers, if we put them up and they see the whole congregation is quiet and listening, some of them get upset. Mm -hmm. I remember on Briar Road, there was a preacher, I think his name was Townsend, yeah. from the Tidewater area. Because <laughs> we always taught the people, listen. That's right. Don't be so quick to yell, amen, amen, listen. And he got up there preaching and whatnot, carrying on. The whole building was quiet. He, he, he wasn't used to that. He got so angry, he started yelling, I feel hatred. Yes, he did. I see hatred. <laughs> That's right. Yes, he did. He said, hatred, everybody. <laughs> there wasn't nobody hating him. That's right. Everybody was simply quiet, mm -hmm. listening. listening. Your ear tries words. That's right. As mouth doeth meats. That's right. Try it. Try. Glory to God. Therefore, watch. Therefore, watch. As this is the instructions given from the apostles to the church. Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years. By I, the space. Do you see how dedicated they was? Amen. And the love they had for the church. That by the space how of three years. How they was warning the church while they lived. That's right. He said by the space of, of three years. I cease not I to warn cease, everyone. That mean in three years. He was consistent in warning the church with the same teaching, and he was very emotional about it. Everyone night and day with tears. How often? Everyone night and day with tears. Sure. Night and day. Why? He saw them slipping away into Same hell. Way. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Study! Study to show thyself approved unto God. Give chapter and verse again. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. You want God's approval. That's right. That's what I live for. God's approval. I don't look for the approval of people. No. I don't care if I never get their approval. Amen. I want God's approval. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry, folks, write me. you the most arrogant thing I've ever seen in my life. I said, all right, I got God's approval. Amen. I hate you. Thank God for you. I still got God's still, approval. That's right. I commented last week how someone sent me a letter so hateful and said, Pastor Jennings, I wish you just died. Die, die, die. So one of the viewers from somewhere, I don't know who they are, they, they, they did it in reverse. They said, Pastor Jennings, why don't you just live? Live, live, live. Thank God for that. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Man wrote me not that long ago. He said, one of the greatest days of my life is when I hear you're dead. He said, the day I hear you're dead, I'll be happy. And, he, and then he put in there, I'll be watching you next week. <laughs> Why are they so upset? Because the whole religious world are like spoiled babies. That's right. You know, a spoiled child cannot take discipline. No. You take a parent and let their child do anything. Run all on the couch with their shoes on. Never wash their hands before they go in the refrigerator. Think they too tender to do chores around the house. That's right. That's right. Can't sweep, can't mop, can't move a chair, can't wipe off a table. Amen. Well, what can he do? That's right, that's right. 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 That's right.
That's right. Amen. What can you do? But then let them go to grandpa and grandpa house, grandma house, yeah. where chores are mandatory. That's right. Clean up, pick up. That's right. Wash them dishes, yeah. mop that floor, sweep that floor. Wash your hands before you go in the refrigerator. Get your feet off that couch. Boy, that grandma and give you a look. You know, old folks say if looks can kill. <laughs> That's right. You jump on grandma's couch. I don't care if you ain't grandma's presence. And your mama there. Your mama That's gets true. sitting there. <laughs> grandma come back in, wiping her hands on her apron. What, what that child doing? I just jumping on the couch, mama. With them shoes on? Yeah, that's right. Girl, if you don't get that baby shoes off my couch, I'll be both of you. <laughs> that's right. Why? She's still enforced old school discipline and rule. Yeah. Weak, frail, feeble, timid, worthless teaching. Here, O ye children, have came in churches, yes. watered down everything. That's true. That's true. Church full of long-haired men. Yeah. Practically every man sitting there looking like a sissy. Looking like that's right. <laughs> Half-legged women, two and three wives, all across the pulpit. Yeah. Women look like prostitutes everywhere, half naked. That's right. They look just like a club. Yeah. Dress and blouse and hat sparkle so much you would think it'd been charged up overnight. <laughs> like they're from Hollywood Boulevard. That's true. Even preachers got on suits, look like glitter all over it. That's right. Hollywood star swinger. That's right. Huh? Hollywood star swinger. Don't want to be holy no more. No. Preacher come, false prophet come along and tell you, don't you worry about having your dresses long no more. And the flesh don't want them long no way. No way. False prophet just say that's a cult. If you got a nice shape, how you expect to get a man if you got your whole body covered? Show that stuff Show and flaunt it. That's right. And because the flesh wants to do it, you come back to check with a skirt or a dress short as my jacket. Yeah. In fact, it ain't nothing but a jacket. True. That's true. You know, because some folk dresses ain't nothing but a jacket. You can put a jacket on and got a split in that and cut down in there. And then come to church. Oh, yeah. Preacher's wife, thighs all showing. Preacher's daughter, thighs all showing. And you religious fools ain't got sense enough to see that's indecent. That's right. That's true. I believe uh, Jeremiah 530. Let me see if that's what I want. Amen. Fifth chapter, book of Jeremiah, and the 30th verse. Follow me and get me. I want to soak you a little for your salvation. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah chapter 5, we're at verse 30. Uh -huh. A wonderful and horrible thing. That's what I want. Amen. God talking. A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful thing. Amen. and horrible. horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Took place on earth. The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets, the messengers all out here. Falsely. They prophesied falsely. If there was some fella uh, calling himself critiquing the message that we preach in the gymnasium about how to dress when we had those mannequins demonstrating. Some white fella, I don't know who he was, talking about, well, you see, I came out of church like that. And he commented on when I pulled my wife up and sister belly up and showed what was modest. Right. And he said, you see that? That's the symbol of cultism. Mm. Them two women got on black. I just happened to pull them two up. Them wasn't the only two modest women in the congregation. That's right. 
It's written to wearing black. It's codism. Yeah. But it show you yeah. how the flesh of women want to be seen in religion. That's right. The religious, any time a religious leader will fight to expose the women's bodies in the church. Amen. That church cannot be of God. It no. just can't. No, no. That's a club with the name Jesus. When these preachers tell you, it doesn't matter how you look, that's a lie out of hell. You got the look of a hooker and you got the look of a child of God. That's then right. you mean to tell me they're the same? That's right. That's right. Are you that dumb? Amen. What I look like up here preaching with a blood bright red suit. Yeah. Blood, bright red Pope shoes. Blood, bright red shirt. Amen. Blood, bright red tie. I'm all, I'm the red man. Red man. We bring before you our apostle, Bishop Red. That's right. I'm like a red fox. <laughs> all glowing. That's right. Looking like a regular Gerard Avenue pimp. That's right. And you got men 79 years old, hair dyed black, and you can see the gray roots in it. Right. Amen. Got their mustache all dark like they Groucho March. That's right. Got their eyebrows all color. Face the fact, you's an old fool. No. Amen. You claim you a bishop, an overseer, an elder. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed. A wonderful and horrible thing. And horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Committed in the land. The prophets, the prophets prophesy falsely. They prophesy falsely like the evangelicals. Mm -hmm. They still write me. You said Trump ain't got a second time. We believe he gonna win in 2014. I don't care if he do in 2014. 2014. I'm dealing with now. Now. Your lie still holds now. That's right. He can do whatever he wants in 2014. What do I care? He can float a boat for all I care. That prophecy that you made that passed, you're all hypocrites and lied on God, and you still got to repent for it. That's right. Uh -huh. The prophets prophesied falsely. And what? And the priests. And the preachers. They are in their the means. pulpit. How do they get in the pulpit? By their means. And how do the people look at it? And my people love to have it so. Amen. Love it. That's right. That's right. Church people having a wedding mm -hmm. and at the reception everybody dancing. Amen. Church people. Everybody gets dancing. Huh? If they can't dance, they stand in one spot. I don't know what that is, but church people. That's right. Bishop slow dragging with his wife when they give him a birthday anniversary. That's right. Church people. That's right. What in the world have you become? Yeah. You're just like Israel when Moses was on a mountain. The Bible speaks plain how they rose up to play. That's why you get upset with me, because I won't play house. That's right. You're going to die one day. Yeah. They're dying. Oh, yeah. The virus is still out. Yeah, they're dying. That's right. One of the boxers just died that I came up watching. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, dead. Died at 66. Dead. No God, but dead. That's right. That's Nobody celebrity status keeps you here. That's right. Your money don't put you in a position to stay here. No. no. The prophet said, prepare to meet thy God. That's right. If you die today, viewer, are you ready to meet God? I don't care if your reverend said, I seen brother Johnny James going to heaven. No, he ain't. No. He ain't seen nothing. No. He's a liar. That's right. 
Johnny James didn't live to please God. Johnny James is going to hell with the devil. That's right. Mr. Johnny James. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. And what? The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets prophesied falsely. And the falsely. Falsely. How many of you watching? Your preacher came to you in some tongue who already married. The Lord spoke to me. You and my wife. Har, har, har. He almost purring it out. That's right. Ain't even no tongue behind it. Just purr it. Purr it. Amen. You're my wife. The Lord says you're my wife, and you sit there like a fool with a detached fake eyelash. <laughs> He got a hypocrite spirit and you got one. He's har and you up there han na 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 san na 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 san na 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 san na 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 and har. That's right. Sound like a 1960 doo-wop group. Amen. Many of you watching, you bear witness, cause some of you looking, you don't got your proposal from some false prophet who's already married. That's right. And you fell for it. That's right. Any of you watching me now, and you got married to your pastor, you got married to any preacher, and his first wife is living, you ain't nothing but living in fornication. He's living in adultery. In adultery. I don't care if you're related to Pastor Jennings. That's right. I got some relatives, fell for it. Mm. Niece fell for a false prophet who already got a wife. Married him. You're going to hell for that. That's right. You're living in fornication. That's right. You know I don't care who you are. No. Well, Pastor Gen Uncle Gino ain't going to speak to you again. What do I care? Amen. I'm trying to get you to meet God. That's right. I don't care if you never speak to me. That's right. If you won't speak to me, I got plenty of nieces and sisters that will. You got to do this thing right or be ushered in hell. That's right. The holy book says. The prophets prophesy falsely. Villains, stop letting these liars come to you in a fake tongue, taking your money. Yeah. Robbing you. Going off with some tongue. Shut the look, shut look, look, so shut the coast loss. The Lord said this. He want ten thousand dollars in the house. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we come again. Here we come again. Cause the king of the coast loss. <laughs> That's the right. Lord said he won ten thousand dollars in the house. And the, wait a minute, what did you say, Lord? Wait a minute, not ten, fifty thousand. Coast Lord. Falsely. The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets do what? Prophesied falsely. Amen. Like the woman that came here from Ohio. Oh who was conned by a false prophet I came up with, Ted Freeman, mm. who got his second wife. Mm. And tomorrow he's an apostle <laughs> and took money from people, saying he gonna buy a church. He robbed you, Amen. throw him in jail, press charges. Yeah. Don't let that thief get away. You take Ted, Ted, Ted Freeman and press charges for lying and stealing your money. That's right. Throw that hypocrite in jail. That's right. I tell you that if it was my blood brother. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Throw him in jail. Yeah. Amen. Amen. These religious crooks yeah. ain't got no conscience. No. And you do this stuff in the name of Jesus? Amen. Greedy for money will blur out a conscience. Oh, yeah. That's why the Bible said the love of it is the root or the source. Oh of all evil while some covered after they have erred from the truth That's right. and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows but thou a man of God flee these things yeah. listen the prophets prophesied falsely and the people, people give me their money I tell them we want to build a church here that's where it's going why that's you think right. so many churches are popping up Amen. and broadcasts are still spreading that's right Amen. met with an old man the other day he said you need the first you the first preacher I've met who take the money and use it for the Lord's work. He said, I'm shocked. <laughs> I said, what? He said, I'm shocked. I said, why? He came from the church of God in Christ. He said, well, I came from, they didn't do that. 
No, he said the church bought the preachers, limousines and everything. So he can ride his way to hell. That's right. I don't care if you bought a preacher a pony and he had 32 legs, a pony limousine, and he had 32 legs. And on his hoofs, on his hoofs, he had rims with a P on it for pony. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He can gallop from here to Georgia if he like. That's right. All celebrities, all preachers, all religious leaders, everybody going to stand before God. Everybody. Ain't nobody going to get away from this message. That's the thing that gives me deep consolation. Amen. That ain't a human born of a woman that's going to be born. Go get away from this message right here. That's right. What he said? The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. Falsely. The falsely. Lord didn't speak to them. No. The Lord didn't tell them nothing. Right. They done it on their own desire on their own feeling and what else and the priest bear rule by their means god didn't make him a preacher Amen. he just jumped up in a pulpit because he got the feeling mm -hmm. and how do the people feel and my people love to have it so love it we're living in a time now that people will follow anything yeah Anything, any piece of garbage that jump up in a pulpit. Right. And the first victims of the trash man in the pulpit is the family. Amen. Wife want to support it. Children want to support it. Friends, uncles, and cousins. Mm -hmm. They are the first dumb blind victims. That's right. You better get this, viewers. Oh, yes. You're not saved unless you keep in memory what the word of God says. That's right. Let's go back to study to show yourself approved so I can knock off quickly now. Give back, chapter and verse. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. What is it? Study to show thyself approved unto God. When you get this word in you, it, it makes it more difficult for a false prophet to trick you. That's right. You have to make it difficult. I don't care how good he sounds. I don't care if he prance around, walk on the pews like he in a, in a spirit. Don't get that excited. Some folk get excited, get their flapping their arms like they're about to fly away. Just bring your feathers down. Bring them down. Bring your feathers down. That's right. And you better hear what that fellow's saying. That's right. Listen. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Hey, what? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. What are we doing? Rightly dividing the word of truth. What else? But shun profane and vain babbling. Shun. Amen. Shun. Profane and vain battles. Get away from gossipers. That's right. That's right. What kind? All of them. All of them. That's right. All of you ministers, your wife should not be a gossiper. No. You that are watching. No. I don't care how good you are as a preacher. If your wife is a gossiper, you're going to tear your church up. That's right. Know how to rule your house. Get your wife out of everybody's business. Yeah. And any time a preacher going to get up and preach based upon the gossip from his wife, you ain't fit to preach to an ant colony. That's right. Here yeah, your wife got a problem with some sister or brothers in the church, and now that's your text. And then you lie and say, you know, church, the Lord was dealing with me last night. I was in deep thought. You're a liar. Your wife was in your deep ear. Amen. <laughs> Wasn't in no deep thought. Your old wife was in your deep ear. That's right. Complaining about Sister Grethel and Sister Ruth and Sister Mary and Sister Magdalene and Sister Martha. <laughs> and then you got up with some fake anointing from hell. Lied and said the Lord was dealing with you. Yeah. Your wife was dealing with you. Bishop, elder, pastor, apostle, prophet, evangelist, minister, hidden peck. That's right. Hear this now. But shun profane in vain. Shun. shun it. Shun. Avoid it. That's Get right. away from it. That's right. That's right. Do you hear this? But shun profane and vain babbles. Speak what you know. What you don't know, shut up about. Amen. Well, I heard nobody want that. <laughs> no. I want to care nothing about what you heard. You can hear a lie. That's true. And then you become a lie spreader. That's right. Are you listening? But shun profane and vain Babylon. Shun. Amen. Don't use your Facebook. Don't use the church website for gossiping. Mm -hmm. 
When this message is on and you see people making comments to lure you in an argument or a debate, ignore them. That's right. Let them say whatever they want. That's right. Let them say whatever they want. Ignore them. Let them yell and holler. You get the word in you. Amen. Because the devil let men and women get on just to distract you. And you get to argue and fight with them and you don't miss the message. That's right. You done missed the message. And you'll find them same agitators on every single time we webcast. Yeah. They got so much to say, and we so much of a false prophet, but yet they there all the time. That's right. They letting you know what their purpose is, yeah. just to agitate you. That's right. Don't go asking questions on the website to anybody posing as Pastor Jennings. That's right. Pastor Jennings don't respond on a website in a chat room. No. I respond like this now. That's right. That's how I respond. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't on no chat room. No, no. I don't even know how that junk work and don't want to know. <laughs> There's someone still over social media pretending to be me. When people make a comment, it come up. Brother or sister, I don't know you, but I had, that's not Pastor Jenner. Then they go begging you for money. Amen. That's a fraud. Yeah. They use my name yeah. to try to get your money. False prophets use my name to draw viewing audience to their website. They just use my name. That's sad. That is sad. It goes to show me that you don't have no power to draw people. That's right. You got to use the name of another man. That's right. Do you hear this? But shun profane and vain babbling. Stay away from gossip. Amen. Anyone else a gossiper, stay away from it. Don't you be a partaker of it. No. Gossiping woman is bad enough, but a gossiping man is worse. That's right. When a man gossip more than a woman, he's a hellion. That's a hellion. No, maybe it's all about it, brother. He's a hellion in everybody business. That's right. Talking about he want to straighten everybody out, and yet he can't straighten out his own affairs. That's right. Listen. But shun profane and vain Babylon. Shun. Amen. That goes for you old mothers, too. That's right. Don't be gossiping about nobody. Pray for the people. Pray for the young sisters. Yeah. Young sister come in, her dress is too short. Don't be gossiping about it. Maybe that's all she got. That's right. That's right. Before you rebuke her and lay her out, maybe that's all she has. Yeah. She can be a new person here. She don't know. That's true. Woman coming with pants. She don't pull her aside. Some of you ignorant so-called apostolic churches say, we hold a standard. We don't let women in our church with pants. We don't let sin in our church. Oh, no. If you don't let sin in your church, then you better throw out all the members. That's right. <laughs> all of them. You better throw out all the members, starting with the pulpit. That's right. Because it ain't none of you clean. No. None of you. Bible said if we say we have not sinned, we lie right. and speak not the truth. That's right. How in the world are you going to say, we don't let no women in with pants on, but you'll let a bishop up there while he run with the women and the men in the church. Amen. Am I right? That's right. We don't let no women up there with pants on, but yet you got a smoking deacon. Amen. Amen. We don't let no women up there with pants on. <laughs> well, yeah, you got open homosexuals. That's right. All unrighteousness is what? Sin. What is it? Sin. All of it. Some of these churches say, well, we don't deal with the world. That's a lie. We don't deal. Let me, let, let, thank you, Jesus. John 3, 16, mm -hmm. then the book of Corinthians about the husband minor right. things in the world, right. and then the epistle of John, love not the world. I want to work on the world in three forms. Amen. 
That's what some of my brothers, I had to break that down to Brother Byron and his brother and the other. Man, they was on the phone having church. One brother said, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Another brother said, teacher, Pastor Jennings. I had a congregation of three on the phone. Amen. Byron break out laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Then he said, yes, <laughs> glory to God. Now, first, St. John 3 and verse 16. Before you read that, I want to piss on John. This is the scripture that most apostolics harp on. Amen. And I want to show you the one-sidedness mm -hmm. and the limited understanding that they have about love, not the world. Not the Let's world. break it down and take it apart and follow me in the Bible. Let's go to work now. First John chapter 2 and at verse 15. All right, Mr. Williams, let's have it. Love, not the world. Love, not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Yes. If any man love the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father. Is not in him. Why? For all that is in the world. Wait a minute. How much? For all that is in the world. How much? All that is in the world. What is The it? lust of the flesh. What else? And the lust of the eyes. What else? And the pride of life. What else? Is not of the Father. But what? But is of the world. Amen. Amen. The apostolics don't go nowhere else but there. But, yeah. but right there. Right. And they say, we don't deal with the world. You don't? You sure about that? Are you sure? Amen. We don't have no dealing with the world because the Bible says all that is in the world, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, pride of life, not of the Father, but is of the world. So we don't have no dealing with the world. You don't? You don't. Hmm. Then why you got that 50C incorporated? Yep. <laughs> That's right. See, when your church is Church of the Lord Jesus Christ or Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ or Church in the Lord Jesus Christ or True Vine or Newborn or the Sidekick Church, whatever you call it. Amen. The moment you got incorporated, you got a 5OC. Yeah. That means you come under non-profit organization. That's right. And you got to deal with the world. That's right. It's called the IRS. That's right. The Treasury Department. Right. That's right. Wonderful. You don't deal with the world? Mm. Who clean your suits? That's right. When you pull up to the gas station, ain't no Holy Ghost filled gas. No. You go right to the center. That's right. 40 on pump three. <laughs> That's right. You don't go to the center to pay gas, you say, Acts 238. <laughs> no. That's right. No. That's true. <laughs> you don't deal with the world, huh? Hmm. You break the speed limit, that troop will pull you over, license and registration. You don't ask the trooper, are you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? No. You have the Lord speaking in tongues? No. The devil pulls you over. That's right. The devil come to you. License, registration. What you do, tell him. I believe it's one God. I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You go tell him that, the trooper say, well, I'm a Christian too. License and registration. <laughs> That's, right. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Now, do you see me? That's right. You're so foolish and so held bound. Amen. Amen. The shoes you got on. You went to a worldly store. That's right. There is no such thing as holy sanctified shoes. No. No. There is no such thing. That's right. As holy sanctified shoes. Amen. The preacher just got to use good judgment so the church don't go to the extreme with their apparel. That's right. That's why the Bible said the priest shall estimate. estimate. That's right. It ain't a holy sanctified teller in shop out here that I ever heard of. No. The suit you got on. Sinners wear. That's sinners right. make it. It ain't nothing that a saint wear that sinners don't. That's right. I don't care what it is. Your hat you got, you got it from a sinner. 
Stockings you got. Sinner. You paid the sinner. <laughs> That's right. You said, I would like those right there. The sinner said, those. Those. <laughs> those. The sinner said, 399. You obeyed the sinner. Yes, you did. You stood there and wait for the chain. That's right. And the sinner gave you a seat. Yeah. And the sinner was nice and said, have a good day, man. Come back and see us again. Organ break in the church. If there ain't nobody who know that technology, you call an organ company. That's right. Technician come. Sinner. Amen. No organ come. You don't ask him, are you a believer? <laughs> no. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. The Bible says, love not the world. All right, now I got to break this down and itemize it That's with right. three scriptures. That's right. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses and every word be established. Yes. John, Corinth, then the epistle of John. St. John 3.16. I want everybody to follow it because we want to explain this real good. St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. That's right. For God so loved the world. God so loved the world. What did he do? That he gave his only begotten son. That's right. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God so loved the world. God so loved the world. But what did the epistle John say? Love not the world. What else would say, son? Neither the things that are in the world. But what did God do? God, for God so loved the world. But what did John say? Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Now let's see Paul. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, we'll start at verse 31. Tell you what? And they that use this world. They that use this world. That's not abusing. Not abusing. For the fashion of this world. For the fashion away. of this world pass away. And in verse 33. Yes. And he that is married. He that is married. Careth for the things that are of the world. But what did the epistle John say? Love not the world. But what did Paul say? And he that is married careth for the things that are of the world. What did the apostle John say? Love not the world. But what did Paul say? But he that is married cares for the things that are of the world. What else? And how he may please his wife. What else? There is a difference also between a wife and a virgin. That's quite obvious. What else? The unmarried woman cares for the things of the Lord. Yes. That she may be holy both in body and in spirit. And but she that is married. She that is married. Careth, careth for the things of the world. She cares for the things of the world. How she may please her husband. Amen. But John said what? Love not the world. Now I got to come between all three scriptures and itemize it. That's right. That's right. World have a twofold meaning. World is planet and world is people. That's right. World is planet and world is people. That's right. God so loved the world, God didn't die for the planet. Because he's going to pass that away. But God died for the people. So the Bible said, love not the world. Not the world. And here's the key, neither the things that are in the world. That's right. But wait a minute. Hmm. Neither the things. The things. But what the Bible said that the wife does. For, for what? But he that is married cares for the things that are of the world. But what did John say? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now everything, here it is again. Here, here it is again. Here it is again. The devil said, get him. Amen. All right, out too. William Mike is out too. Turn the mics on, on, that's on the podium. All right, come on. I'm waiting. But he that is married cares for the things that are of the world. I want the people to be able to hear it. Yeah. Who's back there? Who's back there in the booth? Anybody? Ron's back there. All right, Ron, we're waiting. Glory to God. I have to make sure the viewers get this. Yeah. Devil don't want this part. That's right. Yeah, devil don't want this part. He's something, ain't he? Amen. Amen. Got to keep the sound moving. Yeah. What did he say there? But he that, in 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 33. Yes. But he that is married cares for the things that are of the world. He that is married cares for the things that's of the world. How he may please his wife. How he may please his wife. 
His wife. There is a difference also between a wife and a virgin. Yeah, so yep. a wife had that spirit. Hey, there you go. Wonderful. All right, William, let me hear you. There is difference also yeah. between a wife and a virgin. There's a difference between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried, wife, the unmarried woman cares yeah, for the things of the Lord. The unmarried care for the things of the Lord. That she may be holy both that in she body may and be in spirit. Holy in what? In body and in spirit. And body, that means she ain't letting no one tamper with her body. She keep herself. That's right. Body and spirit. But she that is married, she that's married, she cares for the things of the world. All right, now, when the Bible says she cares for the things of the world, and yet the Bible says love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, that lets you know everything that's in the world is not against God. That's right. That's true. That's right. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Everything that's in the world is not against God. No. The wife care for the things. things of the world. She may want to buy her husband a pair of shoes. Holy Ghost don't need no shoes. That's right. But she ain't buying them for the spirit. That's right. So she care for the things. So when she care for the things of the world, that she may do what? How she may please her husband. She may, she may know his style and how particular he, he is. Yeah. So she don't just get anything. That's right. That's right. Why? She care. Cares for the things of the world. How she may very meticulous, her. very careful, looking. My wife know I'm very particular. So if she get me suspenders, she know what to get. If she get shoes, she know what to get. That's right. If she get shirt, she know not to get. <laughs> She's looking at it. Yeah. Then I may call, where you at? I'm not done yet. Wonderful, wonderful. It is wonderful. <laughs> He particular. That's right. If I buy something for my wife, I just don't grab anything. Because I'm particular. She's particular. That's right. I'm, my, I'm caring for the things. Of the world. Of the world. But he that is married. He that is married. Cares for the things that are of the world. He. He that is he, married. He. That's right. He. He that is married. That is married. Cares for the things that are of the world. So if I go out shopping, I'm going to look at a hat. Yeah. Hats. That's right. Look at dress, print, style, length. That's right. Mm -hmm. Look at a pocketbook. Match it up with the hat. Look at the shoes. Yeah. Match it up with the pocketbook. Accent pieces. Wonderful. May look at a coat. See how it all blend in. Yes. Amen. Care for the things that are of the world. I'm caring. Then after I want to see her dress, then I want to see the way she look half dressed. So I go to Victoria's Secret. Amen. Amen. I already dressed you up. Now I got to pull that stuff off. Why? What am I doing, William? Caring for the things that are of the world. What am I doing? Caring for the things that are of the world. I'm caring for it. That's and right. I'm going to care for it, too. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You dumb, ignorant, blind things. Come on, you don't care for the world. You're a liar. That's a lie. There's a way to care for it. That's right. And the Bible gives you clear instructions how to do it. And 1 Corinthians 7, now in verse 31 also. All right. And they that use this world. All right, here's Holy Ghost instruction. And they that use this world. They which use this, this world, world. As not a As not a abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away the fashion of this all styles passeth away that's right that's right that's right well pastor jenny they don't wear cotton stockings in your church okay if they want to wear them that's their business that's right that's right the bible just says corrupt the shame okay. of your nakedness right the Bible didn't tell me I got to preach a certain material for the women to put on their legs no the Bible tell me to teach Cover up the shame of their nakedness. That's it. You know why? Cotton and every other material gonna pass away. Yeah. That's, That's right. Do you hear what it says? And they that use this world as not abusing. What is that? That's rule. That ain't doctrine. It's not doctrine. That's right. That's rule. That's right. Well, I see your women wear prints. That's right. Amen. You probably got prints on your drawers. 
How in the world a preacher going to tell you going to hell wearing prints if he got prints on his underwear? Right. That's right. You know, I love to make it plain. That's right. If you got a print on your shirt, a print on your band, yeah. the waistband of your underwear, you got a print. It's a print. That's right. If you got a print on the lining of your jacket, yeah. people may can't see it, but is it a print? Yeah, then shut your mouth up and stop that hypocrite. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You can't wear a jacket with print and you hunting. Mm. And then say you'll go to hell if you wear a print in church. Right. If, you, if modest is modest, modest is modest when you're hunting, Riding a bike or anything else. That's right. Don't try to make your personal feelings doctrine. I break it up with the Bible. Yeah. The word of God says. And they that use this world as not abuse it. Don't abuse it. For the fashion of this the world passes fashion. away. I'm not going to be in the New Jerusalem with a double breast of suit on. No. No. You ain't going to be up there with a black suit on either. No, no. No one said, you don't know what you're going to have on. Yes, I do. Right. Give me the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter Nobody going to be up there with neckties or no. vests, double breath and suit. None of, nobody. Nobody. Revelation chapter 7 and at verse 9. But I tell you what you're going to have. After this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man can number. What is it? Of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne. And what? And before the Lamb clothed. Clothed. With white robes. They were dressed. Clothed with white robes. And white robes. And palms in their hands. And they had palms in their hands. That's right. And the prophet Esther saw the same thing. Same thing. Everybody going to have on white. White. I can't tell you it's all right to wear a white hat and white dress and white pocketbook, but then you'll go to hell if you have on white shoes. That's an opinion. That's right. That's not doctrine. That's an opinion. That's not doctrine. That ain't got nothing to do with doctrine. It's a church rule. It's an opinion that ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. That's right. It's a rule. And rules change, but doctrine don't change. That's right. Always remember, it is written, there are differences in administration. That means an administrative or organization may do things different from the administration perspective. First the Bible gives you permission to differ in that. That's right. All right. First Corinthians 12 and at verse 5. That's right. And there are differences of administration. There are differences of administration. But the same law. But the same law. And there are so you allow the differ in administration, right. but you're not allowed to differ in the apostles' doctrine. That's right. Why? That doctrine is, not, is written. The doctrine is written. But your church rules may not be written, but it may not contradict what's written. That's right. Amen. Amen. We start service, 11 o'clock. What I don't like telling the people watching, anyone who don't start at 11 o'clock is going to hell in your church. What kind of fool talk is that? Yeah, some folk have church earlier than we do. Oh, yeah. Seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Some people's already out of service before we done our first service. <laughs> they home watching the ball game. That's right. That's right. Doctrine is written. Rule may not be written. That's right. But it cannot contradict what is written. What is written. Love not the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Let's go back to abuse. Back in 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 3. quick so I can knock off. And they that use this world as not abusing. Don't abuse it. For the fashion of this world passeth away. Television is of the world. Don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. Meaning don't misuse it. That's right. Internet is of the world and we on it. Yeah. Telephone is of the world. That's God right. don't need no, need no telephone. God is everywhere. <laughs> Williams, one of Williams' famous songs. He least to love. <laughs> Jesus is on the main on the line. He, that, he was saying that Tell thing all the time. That's right. Jesus on the main line. <laughs> Tell him what you want. Then he'll say, call him up, call him up. <laughs> Tell him what you want, call him up. That, he was saying that thing faithfully. That's right. <laughs> used to be a song I used to hear when I was a child. Operator. Yeah. 
Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus on the line. What phone number he got? That's right. I used to hear that when I was a child. Operator, give me Jesus. Who you calling? Who's at the heavenly switchboard? Who's at the switchboard? Huh? That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. On the main line, huh? Right, Let's get the main scripture. <laughs> And they that use this world. You see what I'm talking? Yeah. All these cameras, they of the world. That's right. But we're not abusing not it. Not abusing it. That's, that's right. Cell phone is of the world, but we ain't abusing it. Amen. Internet is of the world, but we're not allowed to abuse it. Abusing. Television is of the world, but we're not allowed to abuse it. These instruments is of the world, but even God said he wanted to hear some of them. That's right. Those instruments wasn't made in heaven. No. No, no. God called for string instruments. String instruments. That's right. That's right. He called for organ. Well, praise it with the sound of the trumpet. Give chapter and verse. Psalms 150 and at verse 3. Praise it with the sound of the trumpet. Sound the trumpet. Praise it with the sultry and harp. Get a harp. Praise it with the trumpet and dance. And dance with it. Praise Holy it. dance is talking about. That's right. And then talking about this junk that people are doing now. No. Man. Praise him with stringed instruments. Do you hear that? And organs. So when Melvin give that bass, and Lee give that lead, mm -hmm. and the different ones give those strings. That's right. That's right. And what else he want with it? Praise him with string instruments and organs. I never read where there's an organ player in heaven. No. Huh? No. I don't see no angel around in heaven. No, <laughs> no. 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 They ain't doing that? No, no. But those are things of the, of world. the world. Praise him upon the loud symbol. These are things of the world that God get joy out of. That's right. Those things, when they use for his glory, That's God right. loves it. That's right. That's right. When you abuse it, is when you play it for the world. Right. And use it for an ungodly purpose. That's right. And they that use this world as not abusing it. They that use this world as not abusing it. And not abuse it. For the fashion of this world fashion passes of this away. world will pass away. But I would have you without carefulness. That what? He that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the Lord. And how he may please the Lord. What else? But he that, ma but he that is married careth for the things that are of the world. That's plain. It says he cared for them. Cared yeah. for the things of the world. Amen. One bishop told me, he said, I heard you preach that uh, you buy a wife for your negligee or your wife will buy one. I said, that's right. That's right. He said, uh, how are you justified? I said, that's my body. What are you worrying about it for? Mm. Give me 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and at verse 4. He said, well, my wife, when she come to bed, she have on a long gown and, uh, and all the way down to her feet and her head covered. I said, well, if you go to bed having prayer meeting, that's your business. <laughs> I said, when I go to bed, I said, well, I, I said, me and my wife have our prayer before we go to bed. <laughs> That way, when we get in there, we don't have, we don't took care of our prayer. We took care of the prayer business already. Right, that's right. We don't took care of the prayer part. That's right. I'm on my side, on my knees. She on her side, on her knees. We we taking, we bringing the prayer in. Get that done. Get it. Get that done. We give God His time. And, amen. <laughs> amen. We give God His time. That's right. Sometimes she's up off her knees before me, or I'm up before her. But whoever's up first, if I'm up before her, I'm in bed. That's right. All right, you right. down there. Don't be down there that long now. <laughs> Amen. 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 Trying to stay woke until you finish praying and you <laughs> down there. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, all right. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, Elder Williams, come on. First Corinthians chapter 7 and at verse 4. Here it is. The wife has not power of her own body yeah. but the husband. A bishop wanted to debate me like this over this with his fool self. My Lord, my Lord. He said, if you let your wife do that, that's sin. I said, so if she were at the bed, that's mm. sin? Mm. He said, yes. Give me the book of Hebrew. Mm. <laughs> that's right. That's right. 
That's right. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable and in, what? in all. And all. And the bed undefiled. Marriage My wife go buy a negligee or whatever and bring that thing to bed and her in it. She and ain't defiling it. Undefiled. Because I got power over her body. That's right. And that's my body. That's right. And if that's what I want to see my body in, what are you worrying about it for? Amen. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Yeah. It is nice. <laughs> Amen. If you want to wear leaves like even in Garden of Eden, yeah. That's my lead. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, they got and I pluck them off one by one. What business is it of yours? That's right. Bible said, don't be righteous over much. Over much. You get married, you go on the honeymoon, and your wife coming with a gown all the way down to her ankles. Got her head covered and the Bible and the hymn book for devotion. Singing, I want to be ready when he called my name. <laughs> I want to be ready when he called my name. Call my name. My call Lord. my name. What? 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 There's a time and a place for everything. for everything. Give me the third chapter of the, the book, book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. That's right. You over righteous things, you don't know nothing. Yeah. How in the world are you going to say it's a sin for your wife to come to a husband like that? One preacher, turned, one preacher argued with me and said, well, I don't even see my wife nakedness. I looked at him. He said, I don't see her nakedness and I never want to see it. I told him, you keep that to yourself. Don't tell nobody. That's right. You being righteous over much. And they were both naked in the book of Genesis 2 and verse 25. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. And I see my wife, we ain't ashamed. That's right. These bishops want to debate me over the dumbest thing. Right. You're ignorant. ignorant. To everything there is a season. Give chapter and verse, hear me now. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, Let me verse teach one. you, holy rollers. <laughs> That's right. <No. laughs> That's right. Jumping around so much you ain't got good common sense. Yeah. Folks are looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor Jen, if people really think like this, you will be surprised. Oh, yeah. That's why a lot of these so-called apostolic marriages got problems because they're trying to be righteous over much. Wonderful. You just get married and you go on to Jamaica for a honeymoon. <laughs> you want to enjoy your wife mm -hmm. and you in a nice air condition. Uh, a hotel room. Yeah. And he's there with his new wife, just anxious to see her, sitting back. <laughs> and she come out fully dressed. <laughs> Gown dragging the floor. My lord, my lord. Head covered, collar up to her chin. <laughs> He gonna be like, I marvel. <laughs> yes. That you're so soon removed from him. That's right. He gonna be like, well, but baby, you ready to go somewhere? <laughs> are you are you going shopping? shopping. <laughs> are, are you going shop? Are we going to the store? We gotta go to the market. We got we gotta get something. <laughs> are you listening to the old man? Amen. Don't be more holier than the Bible. That's right. You got a husband, and your husband wants to see you, and you don't want him to? What you marry him for? Yeah. That's right. That's right. See how quiet it is? Very quiet. <laughs> very, very quiet. No amens. Oh, yeah. That's right. Come on. Amen. Amen. You don't want your husband to see you, you stay single. That's right. Well, like before I get married, my wife gonna say, I marry you, but you can't never see me with my clothes off. What? 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 <laughs> You'll be astonished, Pastor. I will I will marvel. <laughs> One scripture says, let not the king say so. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> 
I'd be like, why say of such? <laughs> That's right. Listen now. Yeah. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose. It sounds funny, but I dealt with cases countless. I had to work with a brother to get him out of the strip club. And I actually set him down and say, look, man, you baptized and have the Holy Ghost. Why are you always at the strip club? <laughs> and you married. Yeah. He said, that's why I'm down here, Pastor Jenna. My wife don't ever want me to see her. I said, how long have you been married? He said, 13 years. I said, you mean to tell me you ain't never seen your wife? He said, never. He said, I know it's wrong to go to the club. He said, but I got to see something. <laughs> Man, he he erupted my office. He told me I got to see something. Amen. Many of the over-righteous churches over are telling marriages yeah. is a sin for your husband to see you or you see your husband. Mm. That's the church that come out of hell. That's right. Am I right, Logan? <laughs> Logan said, oh, yes. I want to show you the Bible now. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. Says what? To everything there is a I want to help you married folk. Yeah. Some of y'all are too, you too over-righteous. You don't went past the Bible. <laughs> That's right. That's like running in a marathon. You already went past the finish line. You ain't got a system to stop running. Amen. You running all up through the stand and every place else in the popcorn stand. It ain't got a system to stop. Stop! That's right. It's hard enough to live holy. That's right. Amen. You better hear now. Let me educate you with the Bible. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything. To everything there is a season. There's a season. And a time. And a time. To every purpose. To every purpose. Under the heaven. What is it? A time to be born. A time to come here. And a time to die. A time to leave. A time to plant. Time to plant. And a time to pluck time up that to which take is up planted. what's planted. A time to kill. A time to kill. And a time to heal. A time to heal. A time to break down. A time to break down. And a time to build and up. And a time to build it back up. A time to weep. A time to cry. And a time to laugh. A time to laugh. A time to mourn. A time to mourn. And a time to dance. And a time to dance. A time to cast away stones. A time to cast away stones. And a time to gather stones together. And a together. time to gather stones together. A time to embrace. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. You ain't married, refrain from embracing. That's right. You are married, hug. A time to embrace. Hug, hold. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. You ain't married, you greet a brother, there's space between you. Refrain from embracing. Then break a loose. That's right. You are married, time, no space. No space. Time to embrace. Amen. My wife no, don't be go hugging me like I'm your son. <laughs> huh? Hugging me, pat me on the back. That's right, Frank. I can't hug my daughter like that's my wife. No. My wife can't hug my son like that's her husband. That's right. That's right. So when I hug my daughters, I don't hug them the same way I hug my wife. No. I want you to get this, Bishop. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. This is written here. A time to embrace. There's a time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing. Wonderful. The way I hug my wife at home, I can't hug her like that here in church. No. No, no. no. There's a time for it. That's right. To everything there is a season. Did you hear this? To everything. Did you hear this? Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Amen. If my wife sit on my lap at home, she ain't sitting on my lap here in church. No, no, no. And false churches. I came up in false churches where the preachers' wives would sit on their lap right in the church. 
right in the congregation, right in there. Mm. The wrong time wrong for time. it. That's right. So when you preachers just emphasize on first epistle of John, love not the world, yeah. incorporate the other scriptures. When you do that, now you got to rightly divide. Right, that's right. This is what I mean by rightly divided. Right. Don't read one part and hang up. That's right. Finish the, finish the Bible conversation about right. the world. Don't go to one scripture and hang the phone up. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's right. You got to look at the rest of it. The rest of it. And then harmonize it. Because yeah. when the Lord said, bring the string instruments and the organ, that stuff is of the world. That's right. There was no oil. Ain't no one manufactured this stuff in heaven. No. No. Our church photographers, those cameras are of the world. Yeah. That's right. Right. Our marble layers of the world. Of the world. All the material in here is of the world. That's right. That's right. But we're not abusing it. As they that use this world. We are using this world. As not abusing Someone it. Someone say, well, Pastor Jennings, we don't use the world in our church. For you to say that. Imagine someone saying, I don't use the world in our church. We don't use the world in our church for nothing. You don't? Mm. Those bricks, that mortar, those electricity, that carpet, those pews, they didn't fall from heaven? No. No, no. <laughs> your office, your file cabinet, your paper, your ink pen, your desk. Your suspenders, your belt, your socks, That's right. your dingy underclothes, your washing machine, your car, That's your right. tires, That's right. your hey. engine. Yeah. Ain't no engines in heaven. <laughs> heaven don't need no engines. No. You're so ignorant. Yeah. It is plain. One man told me, he says, a sin to go to college. I took him to the Old Testament, I believe, in the Book of Kings, Kings. where it mentioned college. That's right. He didn't even know such a thing exists in the Bible. He said, what? He said, college is not in the Bible. I said, you supposed to be a preacher? You a preacher? You don't know the word college is even in the Bible? If we don't show you now, we'll show you later. Because there's a lot of apostolic that teaches. It, oh, you got it already? I got it already. You got it already. Amen. All you apostolic churches, mm -hmm. serious young people who's being taught by some dumb bishop, yeah. it's a sin to go to college. Mm. He said college is not in the Bible. Mm. Oh, yeah? 2 Kings chapter 22 and verse 14. Begin at verse 12. 2 Kings chapter 22, we'll start at verse 12. What is it? And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest. You see, I told you, you will learn more from this program. In all the years you've been huckabucking in some church. That's right. The king. And the king commanded Hilkiah the Commanded priest, Hilkiah the priest. And Ahikam the son of Shaphan. And Ahikam the son of Shaphan. And Akbar the son of Micaiah. Yes. And Shaphan the scribe. And Azahiah a servant of the king. Yes. Saying go ye inquire of the Lord for me and for the people. I want you to inquire of the Lord for me and the people. And for all Judah concerning the words of this book that is found. What is For it? great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against we us. We found a book. That's right. And we need to know the contents of the book. That's right. Uh -huh. Be because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book. Yes. To do according unto all that is written concerning us. Yes. Now verse 14. Uh -huh. So Hilkiah the priest. Hilkiah the priest. And Ahikam. Ahikam. And Akbar. Akbar. And Shaphan. Shaphan. And Azahiah. Yes. Went unto Huldah the prophetess. Went to Huldah the prophetess. The wife of Shalom the son of Tikva. Yes. The son of Haraz. Uh -huh. Keeper of the wardrobe. Keeper of the clothing. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. She dwelt in Jerusalem. In the college. In the college. And they communed with her. Amen. Amen. She dwelt in the college. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the college. In the college. And they communed with her. 
Bishop told me the word college is not even in the Bible. Wow. They are, they are so-called apostolics teaching the people. It's a sin mm. to go to college. <laughs> college is idolatry. Mm. Lord, college is idolatry? College. We teach our young people to get the highest education you can get. That's right. And whatever field you major in. And make sure the field you major in don't contradict the word of God. That's right. And when you major in that field and get the highest degree you can, advance in that field, take that skill and see how you can use it to the glory of God to help the people of God. Amen. Amen. We don't deal with the world. Your job that you got. That's right. It's of the world. That's of the world. One man said none of the apostles had jobs that was of the world. Hmm. What you think Matthew was? That's right. A tax collector. That's right. And he wasn't collecting taxes to, to bring up to the glory either. <laughs> That's right. In the book of Acts, chapter 18. Paul was a tent maker. Was, Read this. Acts 18, we'll start at verse 1. That's what? After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. And what? And found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla. Yes. Because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came, and came unto them. And? At verse 3. Yeah. And because he was of the same craft. He was of the same skill. He abode with them. He stayed with them. And wrought. And wrought. For by their occupation, they were tent makers. They didn't make tents to house the Holy Ghost. No. <laughs> That's right. Making a tent for the Holy Spirit to be in. No. No. They were what? For by their occupation, they were tent makers. By their occupation. Come on back to the Bible. Amen. That's why I said moreover that many of the churches have to be re-educated. So when these preachers tell you education is a sin, ask them who taught them one and one is two. Somebody educate you. Whether it was homeschool or a hut, you, you, somebody educated you. That's right. You heathens need to quit. Come on back to the Bible. Yeah. All right, let's close out with Acts 238. Who give me the correct time, brothers? 323? Oh, my Lord. May I read this scripture, Pastor? One All more. right, read this scripture real quick, Mr. Williams. Come on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 12. Says what? Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our return. Let us lie and wait for the righteous. Because he is not for our return. He is not for us. And he is clean contrary to our doings. Yes. He upbraided us with our offending the law. Uh -huh. And objected to our infamy, the transgressings of our education. Give chapter and verse again. That was the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, the and at verse 12. wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. And at verse 12. Verse 12. And objected to our infamy. The Go ahead, uh, verse 11 at quickly. Verse, at verse 11. Let our, strength be of, let our strength be the law of justice. Yes. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worse. Yes. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. Let us lie and wait. For, for the right, them that are right, because he is not for our return. You see, the righteous is not for the wicked. That's right. Uh -huh. And he is clean contrary to our doings. And the righteous is contrary to the doing of the wicked. He upbraideth us with our offending the law. He upbraideth with us offending the law. And objecteth to our infamy. And he object to our infamy. To our infamy. The transgressings of our education. Because we learned things and didn't live by it. Right. That's right. That's right. I object to your education. Yeah. What you're learning is wrong, and then the things that are right that you're learning, you're many not living by it. That's right. That's what that is, isn't it? Amen. School is a sin. Education is a sin. That depends on what you're learning. That's right. That's right. All right, let's educate them and close with Acts 2 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Go to school now. Amen. Amen.
and do this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Well, I got to learn what that word mean. Yeah. I got to be educated, educated. to the, what that word mean. That's right. Repent. Somebody say, well, what's that? Mm -hmm. I got baptized, but I ain't never repented because I didn't know what it was. Right. You got to be educated to uh, explain that word. That's right. That's right. When you repent, you're sorry. You're convicted. The word them pricked your heart. Yep. That's why the word talks about they that gladly receive his word were baptized, but for first it was pricked in, pricked their, heart in their heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? It got their heart. That's right. You got to be sorry about your wrong men and women. Yeah. Word of God work on your heart. The holy message of Jesus will work on your heart. That's right. Leave all false prophets alone. Who? All of them. That's right. Let them alone. Yeah. Jesus said, let them alone. If the blind leave the blind, they both fall into the ditch. That's right. Listen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every be one of Be sorry. Right. Ask God to forgive you. That's right. Be convicted from your heart about your wrong. Yeah. Then it's time to be baptized. Go down in water. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sin. That's how you get your sins removed. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you'll be filled with God. Amen. Anybody here want to obey that and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet now. If you want to be baptized the right way and come out of your false church, stand on your feet. Wonderful. Wonderful. So all of you that are standing, come on around and come on to the front here. All of you that are standing, come on around to the front here. Amen. Glory to God. Got thoroughly educated today. Oh, yes. Amen. Thoroughly educated. Amen. And viewers, you'll be thoroughly educated. Just keep watching. Right. Stop wasting your shoe leather and coffee and gas going to some old phony church. <laughs> That's right. Come out of your churches, everybody. Leave your church. Now don't you step back at all. Once you repent of your sins and go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, don't you go back to your church. Right. Because if you do, even if you got the right baptism, you still will go to hell baptized right. Yeah. Look at the souls coming to obey God. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> All right. Thank God for you. Prayer begin at five o'clock, God willing. Let us all stand. Minister Dan Thompson, by the grace of God, will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you again, Lord God, for this day. We honor thee and praise you, O God, for thou art the one and only true living God that's made all things. We thank you for your word this day, O God. We pray you let it go out over the airways, into the foreign lands, and in this land. Let every soul consider, my God, their eternal destiny. O God, give them an understanding, they pray, Lord God, and thereafter help them to keep in memory the things that they have heard, that lest they believe in vain. Hear us, I pray, O God, at this time, and give us strength and give us the victory. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.